Yeah, I guess partnering up with Arena last year, uh, part of the deal was that I got to be a, be a part of designing my own racing suit. Uh, so kind of this time last year, we I met with Arena and they made me kind of work out, I guess, a bit of a spirit animal, an animal that I thought related to me. Uh, so for me, growing up in Port Lincoln, uh, we're literally surrounded by great white sharks down at our town jetty where I'd swim as a kid quite regularly. We had a big shark cage that we had to swim in so that the sharks couldn't get in and uh, I guess eat us as kids. So for me, I've always had a pretty close connection with the ocean, but close connection with great white sharks. So I think um, the choice for me kind of spoke for itself. I'm very proud of where I came from, proud of my Port Lincoln heritage. Uh, so to choose an animal that I feel best represents me, but also represents my, my home and where I've come from. Uh, I'm very proud of to wear on my racing suit. Obviously, you know, design and wearing your personality and your body is definitely a thing of yours. Um, what do you draw from that performance for us? The suit and the tattoos? Definitely, I think um, for me, my tattoos tell my story. You know, there's a lot of them I've, I've put a lot of thought into that actually, you know, mean a lot to me. Some that I've, I've kind of haven't put a whole lot of thought into, but it was where I was at at that point in my life. So for me, I'm very proud of you know, that's my brand is tattoos, I guess now, and telling that story through tattoos. And uh, now wearing the shark on my racing suit, it just it just builds me and lifts me even more. You know, like I said, I'm very proud of where I come from. And to wear a predator animal, uh, an apex predator of the ocean on, on my racing suit makes me feel pretty uh, powerful in the water. And um, I'm excited to try it in competition. I tried it here tonight in training and, and swam pretty fast. And I'm a big believer in placebo effects, so for me, just uh, having that on my racing suit is just going to yeah, stimulate my mind and help me race that a little bit faster, I think, give me that little bit more competitive edge. You love the world stage, you love racing. Are you, are you getting to that level now? Is it super pumped or is it still like not yet at soon? Like, how are you feeling ahead of that? For me, I have to try to relax right now. I've got a, a week until, comp well, a little bit over a week until competition, obviously. I'm really excited. We have the 4x1 freestyle day one. and. I've got some young guys that I think can do some really amazing things this year in the relay team. So I'm super excited for that. And I know each day I'm kind of reminding myself that we are still, you know, nine days away from competition. So relax, don't get too excited. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to rip into it. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Finally injury free, very healthy at the moment, swimming fast in training. And uh, yeah, can't wait to reunite with my friends from all over the globe in, in Fukuoka in a week's time and, uh, and swim really, really fast. Yeah, definitely. I think, uh, you know, for me, I'm not here just to represent my country. I'm here to make my country proud. So for me, as soon as I put that gold cap on, it's kind of like putting that shark logo on. I, I lift to another level and, you know, put me in those relays with three other guys yelling my name. Uh, I can't re wait to represent my country, my teammates, my family back home, make everyone as proud as I possibly can. And it never gets old. I think for me, you know, I am 25. My first senior team was 2015. My first junior team was 2012. But I do feel like I'm getting younger and more excited to do it more than ever. I think, uh, to be honest, the pressure's probably off a little bit than it has been over the last few years. So I'm enjoying it a whole lot more, having a lot of fun with these guys that are coming through. And there's a lot of young guys that are just super excited to be here, you know, first world championships or second one where they might be a little bit more competitive this year and just kind of hearing them talk about training and that energy they bring is just inspiring me and motivating me. And, and I feel like I'm a 17, 18 year old kid again, to be honest with you.